there's been a bit of blue and blue action in the Commons today. Jacob Rees-Mogg, or should I say Sir Jacob Rees-Mogg, yeah. decided to take a swipe at his own party. In the clip I'm about to show you, you can see him basically calling the government useless for not managing their business correctly. He was soon slapped down by Penny Mordaunt, the leader of the house, and although I do enjoy the Tories turning on each other, this is a question that I'd kind of expect from the opposition benches. And even though I don't actually like the guy, I do actually think he's got a point. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Mr. Speaker, I am concerned, and I know this takes up time in itself, but we now have just about three hours, including the 10 minute rule bill, for the final stages of a bill that runs to 328 pages plus 145 pages of amendments, which includes 68 new clauses and at least 240 amendments. This House has not been overrun with business lately. We had many days before the recess when we were going home early, and it seems to me that it is not respectful to this House to try and shoehorn such a large piece of legislation into sh such a short piece period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I thank the Right Honourable uh, Gentleman uh, for his point of order and for giving me uh, notice of it. Um, as a former of Leader of the House um, himself, I know he will be very aware of uh, the procedures for organising business in the House. He also knows um, it is not a matter uh, for me. I, could, I, I would remind him that I've said on three occasions during the previous statement that there was a lot of business to get through, that it wasn't protected time, and that therefore it did require short questions and short answers. So I have tried to do my best to reflect the fact that there is pressure on business, because he's quite right to say there are a lot of people, a lot of colleagues who want to contribute to the next debate. Um, the Leader of the House has heard what he has to say, and I believe the Leader of the House may wish to uh, respond, so I will allow her to do that. Thank you. Um, place on record that we're always uh, keen to ensure that this House has uh, time to, uh, to debate things. Contrary to what some might be saying, uh, this is not a zombie parliament, and we're putting through uh, a lot of uh, legislation as well as uh, private bills. But I would also remind the House that the programme motion for this was agreed on the 9th of May. I was about to come on to say that the programme motion was agreed um, by the House. I thank the uh, Leader of the House uh, for, her, for responding as well um, to that uh, uh, point of order. And I'm sure the previous Leader of the House will remember that um, sometimes it's not possible to please everybody. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going soft on the guy known as the Victorian Pencil because he's more than happy to admit corruption by his own party on national TV. And if you want to see him doing that, you'll need to watch the video that's on screen now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you next time.